What's an unspoken rule that annoys you when people don't know about it? Don't block the footpath. If you're waiting for something, move off it to the side. We're not obligated to walk around you because you have an ego. Let people know when you have them on speakerphone. Especially when your husband slash wife slash partner slash friend slash any other human is within earshot. When you're in the elevator with a group of people and get to the bottom, and it opens, and a handful of people lurch forward to get in. Now we are standing there, face to face in gridlock. During this moment you say to yourself, how long until they realize they are the ones who have to move or you are not going to get out of the elevator, ever. Then you see a look of surprise sweep over their face, and then they move back. Stand 2M back from the airport baggage carousel. If everyone does it, then enters that ring to grab their luggage and leave, then everyone can see their luggage as it comes and no one is jostling. It never occurred to me until I traveled in South Korea, and they had a white line around the carousel that everyone stood on. It was remarkably efficient, and I wish the rest of the world adopted it. If someone says they're not drinking tonight, don't make them feel bad or imply they are being boring. People playing music loudly on their phones in public or on public transport especially. No one wants to hear what you're listening to. When someone hands you their phone to use, don't fucking go through it. It's rude. Pointing out awkward situations. If it wasn't awkward before, it now definitely is. Don't immediately assume it's okay to smoke in someone's house, regardless of their living situation. I don't care if it's literally a cardboard box or an upscale mansion. Ask first. Stairs are for ascending and descending. Move out of the way when you are done using them. Standing in front of them and looking around like a lost tourist is not one of their functions. Standing in fucking doorways, go in or out, but get the fuck out of the way. You don't need to attach yourself to the person in front of you when standing in queue. Re-racking your weights at the gym. You lazy f backslash asterisk CKs. If I'm turning away from you and trying to walk away, stop continuing to bring up new conversation points. You don't need to be this close when you're talking to me. When someone is helping you move, you offer them pizza and beer, no exceptions. If they don't drink, offer them soda or water. That leaving your shopping cart in the middle of the parking lot is lazy and just plain rude. I hate finding a parking spot only to realize that there's a fucking shopping cart already taking up the spot. Respect people's right to say no. It's okay to ask someone for something, or to do something, or whatever, but if they say no, don't pester them or guilt trip them. People who pressure their friends are kind of garbage friends. Standing in the middle of the supermarket aisle blocking the entire aisle with your trolley while you stare at the shelf is not okay. Edit, in the UK it's a shopping trolley, I originally had a typo, no E, in the US a cart or buggy, at least I've had PMs telling me this and then others saying it's not true, just going by what people say. Thanks for the upvotes. Warn people that you slash your kid is sick before turning up at their house slash interacting with them. Chicken pox, flu, hand foot and mouth, stomach bug all caught by my toddler in the last 12 months and could have been avoided. If someone pays for something for you, I'm not talking about as a gift, I just mean we can't split the bill here so I'll pay and you can pay me your half later, I'll buy both of our concert tickets now and you can revel at me for it later, etc., you really shouldn't make them ask you to pay them back. Ideally not even once, but especially not two or three times. If I owe someone money like that, I make sure to pay them back as soon as I can and let them know once I've done it. I have a friend who I know is not short on money, but I stopped offering to pay for things for him in situations like the above because he just forgets and makes you ask him two or even three times before he does it. I really think that's not fair to people. You're putting them in an uncomfortable position. If someone is hosting you, don't insult or give a negative critique of their home. Some people have fewer resources than others, only one income to live off of, and have worked very hard to get less, etc. 
No need to point out home imperfections. Cover your mouth when you sneeze. Apparently people don't know this. Move your cart to the side of the aisle when looking for groceries, don't hog up the middle. Oh, of course I'll wait for you to pick out a flavor of beans, Sharon, take your time. Waiting for others to exit an elevator or train before entering. Saying thank you when someone holds a door open. One for one when merging lanes in heavy traffic. Phones should be on mute in public places especially the crib room at work. No one want to hear the video you are watching while they're trying to eat. If you're out at a restaurant slash party slash event with someone don't offer any criticisms about their appearance unless they can actually change it. Oh thank you for pointing out the spot I missed shaving. I'll just spend the rest of the night thinking about it and how I can do nothing about it. That it's common courtesy to say thank you after receiving help slash service from someone else. Don't ask people to do their job for free, even if you're friends or family. Turn signals. They're meant to be a warning, not an afterthought.